Hello, Grace Life family. Welcome to my home. My devotional passage for today is Isaiah 26, verses 3 and 4. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. You know, it's difficult to be at peace with so much going on in the world right now. Many are living in fear and uncertainty and high anxiety. And that's understandable. What America and the world is going through, is it, it, it's unprecedented. It seems like overnight so many of our freedoms have been lost. Even our freedom to congregate. All of our lives have been affected to varying degrees. You know, the White House uh, core, uh, Coronavirus Task Force tells us that if we adhere to the social distancing, the virus will hit a curve and then we will begin to see a decline of its effect on our population. You know, following the curve, it, it brings about anxiety, undue fear, and apprehension and disappointment because we're counting precious lives that are affected by, by the virus and lives that are, are expiring. I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to look beyond the curve, keeping your eyes steadfast on Jesus. The passage for today says, I will keep him in perfect peace. The word keep in the Hebrew means guard it or guard with fidelity. And perfect peace, it's the same word in Hebrew. It means shalom, shalom. God is saying, I will keep you in shalom, shalom. The God of peace will guard and watch over you with a fortified peace that is impenetrable. This peace means blessings such as wholeness, health for the purpose of productivity, quietness of soul, preservation, security, and completeness, not striving. This passage of scripture tells us that God has a part and that we have a part. God's part is to provide a fortified peace daily. And what is our part? We participate by steadfastly keeping our minds on him and trusting him. So look beyond the curve to the one who is Jehovah Shalom, to the one who said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives you do I give. Do not let your heart be troubled nor let it be fearful. The fidelity of God, the trustworthiness of God, and the fortified peace of God that surpasses understanding is yours at all times in all circumstances. <laughs>